Welcome, I'm so glad you could be with me today and I am so glad to be back. I am doing an energy check-in today so I thought I'd do this first because I still want to give you guys, you know, a reading. I know some of you have been waiting so patiently for me to get back on board with the readings. Um, I'm not able to do the full um, hour readings, you know, hour and a half to nearly two hours sometimes, the readings I do um, just yet, but I can get on here and do an energy reading uh, check-in for you. So we're going to be looking at the Divine Masculine's energy and the Divine Feminine. Uh, Sunshine's in her cage right now. She's a little bit cranky. <laughs> she tends to get this way around 4, 4.30, I've noticed, um, before, you know, normally the sun would go down. So, yeah, she's in her cage. She might make some noise. Um, but I'm going to bring her out in the next reading. And she'll be able to choose some cards. I'm thinking that um, it would be really cool if I do like a short video with her maybe once a week. Choosing a special card uh, for you guys. Uh, like a, a message from your person. I've got certain cards like specific special cards as you can see here with little messages on there. And uh, yeah, all her little, <laughs> little bite marks on there. But anyway, let's get started. So we've got the Divine Masculine's energy first up for this month or this week or however you want to say whatever you whatever time frame you want it to be let's do it that way you you set your own time frame on this how about that and this will be timeless obviously for those who might find this in another year's time okay let's do it divine masculine's current energy please regarding just in his personal life right now what's going on please spirit the divine masculine's energy so we've got the Three of Pentacles, so he might be really working hard at something right now, um, you know, trying to work with others. He might be around friends right now or business partners. Just going to see what else is coming up with that. I've got these new little cards in the mail, so cute. Thanks to your donations, guys. These are the Mini Gilded Royale Tarot, so so cute. I love them. Oh my God, this is so weird. Three of Pentacles again. So it's definitely maybe perhaps around money. It's about building something, building an empire, um, working with others. Uh, what else is, uh, am I getting with that? I just want to see what else is happening for him because that's really interesting. Like he might be really uh, working hard. He might be studying so for some kind of uh, recognition right now. He might be receiving from others. And I've made a fool of myself, foolish, so maybe he's trying to build back his reputation <laughs> for some of them. I'm walking a thin line between being okay and being a complete mess. So this might be why he's gathering other people around him right now to help him uh, to build a stable um, financial security, perhaps in his life right now as well. Um, yeah, I'll see what else is going on here. Some of them might be moving house, I'm hearing. So, okay, so how is he actually feeling? No, actually, we'll do yours. How is the Divine Feminine? I say yours because mostly everyone is Divine Feminine watching. But how is the Divine Feminine, you know, feeling in her current life right now? What's going on currently? So we've got the Five of Wands reversed. And when I see this, it shows internal conflict. That's just how I read it. And we've also got the Emperor. Okay, so there's some significant stuff that she's trying to get on top of right now and stand strong with. Could be some legal stuff, could be issues around family, um, siblings, you know, it could be that kind of thing as well. Uh, what is it, please? Could be with her own father or some kind of paternal energy. Could be coming up against, you know, business, career. Uh, we've got the lovers, so it could definitely be around love. So it could be the Divine Masculine. We do have a Divine Masculine in these cards that she's feeling internal conflict around. Um, or for some of them, they might be in another connection. 
um, away from this one might be in another connection is feeling internal conflict about whether to stand strong in this or to let it go um, yeah that could be something so she's got greed I want it all and I deserve it all uh, and I can't accept it denial so there's something about the divine feminine is not coping very well with something that's going on perhaps in the masculine's life she she wants to have him and her like kind of like want to eat a you know have a cake and eat it too type thing that's only for some of you and don't take offense to that it just means that you're in a situation that might be secure for you but you really desire to be with your masculine so it's like you kind of want it all you want that security you want you want the life that you're you know wanting to live but you also want to have this person in your life and it's kind of hard uh, to have all that right now and he's off doing his own thing here he is off perhaps building a business studying getting people around him trying to have that support he does feel foolish in something uh, I do feel for some of them they are rebuilding their reputation uh, so how is he feeling towards the Divine Feminine? How is the Divine Masculine feeling? Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, look. Look at how they're holding each other and the wish coming true. It's that emotional fulfillment. Um, but yet there's regrets here. And once again, we've got the Pentacles, which is loss. See how he's kind of the masculine in this energy, in this card here, the masculine energy in this card, I should say, is kind of like running away, he's feeling like left out, he's feeling like he's a fool, um, and he might, he might have really mucked this up, he might have had something really good with you and now has to pick himself back up and build himself back up again now, uh, that could be something there. And, oh, that's not the right card, hang on. That's the, um, what is that one? That's just a in instruction thing or whatever. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. We've got the Page of Pentacles now. So it's a very material, um, he's very much in his material world, isn't he, with the Divine Masculine at this stage? Like he's really trying to find his bearings. He's trying to find his strong foundation, uh, like a strong ground to build upon right now he's really feeling quite maybe even financially um unstable insecure you know there's this feeling of uh, wanting to have this new opportunity with the divine feminine being able to offer something even if it's something little uh, but he feels like he's got nothing to give right now and he, he had it it feels like he had it with you or he could have had it something's happened where perhaps he's made some mistakes uh, he didn't put, I'm, I'm hearing the word priorities, so maybe he didn't prioritize the Divine Feminine, um, was too distracted I'm hearing as well, um, and so now has to prove something to her, um, and that's what I feel like he wants to do, but he's feeling quite low in his self-esteem here as well, he's, he's feeling foolish, he doesn't feel like he's got everything like you know some of them might you know some feminines might be saying he needs a backbone and I get that kind of energy with this is that he doesn't feel strong on his feet he doesn't have a strong foundation he doesn't feel like he's confident he's kind of cowering away um, and it's kind of sad you know considering that he has so much potential um, to grow and, and yeah be strong in himself say what he means means what he say loyalty forever yours that's how he feels towards the divine feminine is that even though everything like this is going on he still knows that he is hers and she is his you know he's very loyal to the divine feminine um feels that his heart belongs to her so how does the divine feminine feel towards the divine masculine the world okay so she sees that the divine masculine is her world so we've got here the eagle, we've got the stag. Uh, what's that? Yeah, we've got feathers coming from the eagle. We've got the uh, ram, it looks like, there as well. So she sees that he, you know, he is, well, he would have been, it's interesting I'm getting these words, is her rock. But something's happened here, it's come undone. But normally she'd see that he is her rock. He is the, the world, you know, he is her world. Um... Yeah, but there's a lot of burdens here, see? See, the Ten of Wands um, is that feeling of, look, she's like a, she can't see. She's got like a blindfold on. She's feeling like um, she has to tiptoe around things right now. She's she's possibly in another connection for some of them. Um, 
not being she's not able to see the truth um, maybe once again it's that denial she's also wearing a mask so it looks to me like the divine feminine is something in her life is stopping her and there might be some things within herself that she not is not healing right now she might be just um, in some ways projecting onto the divine masculine the, all the things he needs to do but she also needs to look at some of the things that she might have to balance out in her life as well but she is carrying a lot of burdens and it's um i'm hearing that other outside influences are getting into her ear because we see these trees here with their mouths open and they're kind of breathing out this energy um which you can read it in all different kind of ways i guess but what i see here is that uh, she's got a lot of outside influences, maybe a lot of people talking in her ear. She's finding it really hard to trust in her intuition as to what to do. She might be in denial that things have gone the way they have, um, is not really looking at herself right now, um, and just needs to realize that, you know, she is this beautiful feminine who's got her own power. You know, she has her own power, um, and she can use it for the good too. So she needs to be able to take that, that blindfold off and see things for how they really are. Um, that's what I'm getting here because not everything is as it seems here yes he's probably made some mistakes um, but there's real love here I feel it I feel like he's loyal to her he really loves her that I when I saw this card I'm thinking wow you know he really wants her he loves her but he's yeah he's not he's unable to uh, come forward he doesn't feel like he's got enough to give right now he does feel maybe like an idiot at the moment and this divine feminine is coming in quite strong uh, has very strong opinions on what, how things have gone down um, yeah ace of wands see doesn't feel inspired to um, open this pathway with him even though she sees that he is her world um, and there's internal conflict going on she still hasn't got the uh, ability or the power or she feels she doesn't have the power because she's got this blindfold on um, to move forward and embrace some kind of um, you know to build that energy up with him she's not putting it out there so she's kind of holding back and watching from afar and maybe even in some ways is punishing him by withdrawing you know but deep down her desires her, her beautiful desires for him, they're very strong, coming through here, you know, wants to have contact with him, wants to connect with him. Uh, she's really, it's like it's taking all her power not to make contact or not to check on a profile or something like that because there's this, there is this blindfold here, but there's also this very strong desire and passion to uh, connect. But she's not happy where he's at in his life right now but yet she's not fully looking at where she needs to be and we've got the queen of pentacles here so i'm going to say the star signs because i forgot about that uh, we've got the aries for the emperor we've got the gemini for the lovers and we've got i think capricorn for the world um if i remember got the fool here too which can be i'm pretty sure sagittarius with jupiter um, and we've got the Capricorn woman that I see here. So Capricorn is pretty strong here. Could be, you could see it as any earth sign. The Ace of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Mm, okay. So basically what I see here is that, you know, the feminine is holding this coin. She really feels that she's, you know, at a point like, you know, she's looking at him. He's a page and she's the queen. So she's looking perhaps a little bit down on him, you know, as to where he needs to be. She's kind of taking that, um, that, um, just looking at those, just looking at those beautiful flowers behind her. Um, she's just, yeah, she's taking that stance where she's, she's thinking, well, you need to do this and do that, you know. Um, but there's some things in her own life she's not seeing. So it's just about taking that mask off and realizing that, um, there's something she also needs to look at here regarding her own growth. Um, so that's interesting. It's coming through, but she has this amazing passion for him. She really does love him. She stands firm in that. She knows where she stands on that. Um, but for those who are in other connections, um, she has to hide it from the person she's with. Uh, yeah, she has to hide the truth. And the truth is, I know you can feel me and you're inside my mind. You know the truth I've been trying to hide. 
So this is interesting because it's telling me that the Divine Feminine is putting out a different energy to the Divine Masculine as to what she's really feeling. So whether he can see it on her profile or he's just energetically picking that up, he's feeling that there's a defense, okay, against him. Um, that maybe he's to blame for something and, you know, and it might not be a direct message from the Divine Feminine. She's just perhaps not really extremely happy with the way things have turned out with him. I feel like he had a chance to step up. He had his wish come true. There was something he could have done about it to get to that Ten of Cups, which is the emotional fulfillment, is the emotional bliss, the happy marriage, etc. Uh, and something's occurred where it just, you know, bad timing or maybe he did do something, you know, that wasn't helping the connection at all. So what action might he take towards the Divine Feminine, all right, at this time? So Ten of Cups, there it is reversed, okay? So the Ten of Cups has come out, um, but it's reversed. See, they're holding hands, they're looking in each other's eyes, they're in love, um, but, you know, being reversed, it just shows that... Uh, there's this insecurity still there as, you know, it's like a disappointment. What else we got? What else? Hang on. He might shut down emotionally. Oh, yeah, he's trying to be strong, see? He's trying to sit back, like, uh, restrain himself, perhaps, from um, allowing himself to really sink down further than he already is. So that's kind of like where he's at, trying to gain his strength, replenish his energy, build himself up right now. He feels like he's missed the boat with this. And, um, yeah. And so we've got the Queen of Swords here. So he's coming into some truth. He's trying to look at things factually, uh, trying to uh, detach from the emotions right now. He's trying to get practical uh, and do things practically right now in terms of his finances, his home life, just any kind of kind of decision he makes. He uh, wants to do it logically rather than irrationally um, through, you know, stupidity, basically. So it's like some lessons are being learned here for him. There's a Leo energy there and the Libra. And this is for uh, action for the Divine Feminine. Actually, I didn't get that, did I? Got to get that for the Divine Masculine. So focus, okay, so I know what I want and I can't stop until I have it. So he's trying to focus on gaining his strength, building his life up, building himself up. Um, and maybe at the moment he does just has to detach and try and balance things out in his life. That's just all he can really see it as. And he might really be looking at it as, okay, this is his own karma. He, he had this coming. You know, he could be thinking about those things as well because he doesn't feel good about himself. He's feeling there's a lack of confidence here, trying to be confident, trying to be strong um, and trying to focus on where he's meant to be at and where he wants to be at. Um, so that's, that's that one. So what's the Divine Feminine... What's her action this time, at this time, towards the Divine Masculine? What's her action? <clears throat> so we've got the Devil reversed. So she's cutting ties right now. She, she's withdrawn. As we can see, there is internal conflict. She's not seeing things very clearly at the moment. She is going to cut ties at this time but you know as we know with twin flames especially you can't really cut ties uh, with your twin but she's definitely trying to break free from these burdens here as well is she going to you know she could be breaking free from those things at the moment cutting ties from things that no longer serve her because the truth is coming to her and seven of cups yeah making some heavy choices i'm hearing so it's it's almost like she's had she's going to have to make some choices. She's going to have to let something go. If she if she like it's like she's holding on to two things here. She's holding on to the masculine and something else. The other the other thing, right? Doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be fears. Could be pride. There's something else she's holding on to. It could be anger, resentments. Whatever it is, there's something that she's got to let go of in order to, you know, find that balance and power within herself uh, to come out from that denial. And um, maybe open the pathway to this. And we have the star. Yeah, wish is coming true. So focusing on that. We've got a beautiful little blue bird down here. So it represents communication as well. And I feel like maybe she's talking to uh, the masculine, you know, at night time. Even in her mind, even in her thoughts, she could be talking to him. Um, this is the Aquarius energy here, Capricorn again. Um, 
trying to balance it out, you know, her en energy as well. Um, I feel like maybe the Divine Feminines will be drawn to water. So whether it be just drinking lots of water or swimming in water, um, maybe there's like a salt, uh, like a spa bath or something. You know, I feel like the Divine Feminines perhaps uh, are drawn to that or need to do that to cleanse their energy. They need to clear their energy. And that's what they're going to do. You know, that's what they're, they look like they're going to do here. Wow, hang on a minute. Because we got hostile. I don't want to play this game with you anymore. So she's not happy. She doesn't want, she doesn't want this back and forth thing. She's sick of it. So she might think it's a game. Maybe there has been a bit of a game, um, but maybe there's not. So once again, the blindfold's on. She might be misinterpreting things that he's playing games when he's really just not, he hasn't got the knowledge. He doesn't know what to do in this situation right now. He's at a loss. Um, so it could be that having to let go of that idea or perception of him as well, which can also help her to move forward. Uh, what does she want to say, okay? What does the Divine Feminine want to say? And these are the gorgeous cards from Liz Harrison, Divine Feminine 101. What does the Divine Feminine want to say to the Divine Masculine? Whoop. So we've got, I love you so much it hurts. Yeah, that's possibly why she's gone in denial, okay? Into denial because she does have so much passion and strong feelings for him but she's trying to be strong you know sitting strong on her throne trying to look at things logically and factually um, but getting caught up in that you know because getting caught up in the confusion between her intuition her passion uh, her love for him and opposed to her fears um, and I hate it when you give other people attention so that could be something there that he feels foolish with maybe he didn't make her a priority as I said before he was paying too much attention to other people uh, other things and in your presence I feel strong so you know when she is with him she feels once again I said before that he is her strong rock so something's happened you know afterwards because normally he would be so I want to look good and dress up for you. So she's visualizing this, maybe even on her social media. She's getting dressed up, making herself look good, putting up a selfie or photos with friends to, you know, hope that he will see that and see, you know, how attractive she still is, you know, and wants to be. Uh, dark Truths, Liz Harrison. This is a Divine Masculine Dark Truth. So let's see what he wants to say to the Divine Feminine. I love her cards. They're just amazing. Okay, so what does he want to say? Oh, hang on. Oh, they did come out. I'm understanding. I'm facing my truths and going within to become a better person. I know I have a purpose here and I want to be able to work on that. And that's that three of pentacles right there as well. Really working hard on himself. He needs others around him to help him do that. And I'm paying attention. Your voice haunts me. I hear you in my head talking to me. Is it real? I wonder. So as I said, did I say something about she talks to him? You know, the Divine Feminine talks to him at night, even in her thoughts. So interesting, he says, your voice haunts me. I hear you in my head talking to me. <laughs> so, you know, if you do that, he is listening. He can hear you. Telepathically, it's happening. So you see me. You see the real me. That's why I struggle sometimes to look you in the eyes. You see right into my soul, and that makes me vulnerable. And he's not good at being vulnerable, like he's not in a good space right now. He is very vulnerable. He feels uh, ashamed of that. You know, he feels ashamed. He feels stupid. And I'm taking action. I feel empty without you. I know that I had to learn the hard way what I have lost and what I'm missing. But now I want it back. I hope you will take me back. So as I said, that's also why he's wanting to work hard on himself. And I do feel like he's trying to stay away from the negatives, staying away from, uh, like, I get an ex-partner, perhaps, for some of them that has been causing issues. He's starting to wake up to that now. These are the Twin Flame Oracle cards by Liz Harrison as well. And Psychic Power, Trust the Signs. So he's trusting signs that he's seeing and he's awakening. So that's amazing because he's starting to see that in this time of building himself up and looking at himself, reflecting and, and gaining that strength. In that time, he is actually awakening and trusting in signs, perhaps trusting in his intuition. And for the Divine Feminine, 5D Cosmic Connection, meeting up to talk and make love. So that's what's happening on the 5D. 
She's meeting, she's instigating it towards the divine masculine because there is so much passion and love for him and she's doing that in the 5D. And we've got solutions and decisions. So we see her making a decision with the Seven of Cups, choosing carefully, weighing up her options and that's what she's going to do in her physical realm, like her physical life, she's going to be doing that. Okay, so let's get one more message from the Divine Masculine. And one more from the Divine Feminine. So this is from the Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine. I know we are soulmates. So even if you are twin flames, he sees it as a soulmate. He may not know the terminology. Uh, and hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. So he really wants the Divine Feminine to not forget, okay, not to forget the good times together. And if she is, you know, wallowing over the bad, you know, the bad times or the sad ones, to, to see the lesson in those. And this is his higher self coming through. So what does she want to say to the Divine Masculine? Through my lessons, <laughs> this is interesting, I've become stronger and wiser. We see here, see, he's asking her to, sh to see the lesson and she's saying, through my lessons, I am learning. I've be you know, I am learning about this. I am becoming stronger and wiser in this. And I could only work with what I had at the time. So she also isn't very happy. She might be ashamed as to how things have panned out, how she's reacted to things as well. They're both not perfect. Everyone's learning. Um, but it does look really beautiful what's going on here. You know, things are panning out. Things are being healed. Uh, they both love each other deeply. There's this cosmic connection going on. One more card, please. So forgive, release the past. That's what both of you need to do, just is to work on yourselves, forgive, heal the past and, and allow this to uh, blossom again because I, I feel like it will. Okay, guys, so I hope that's resonated with you and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings.